Jeff Leichman here at the uh, Carroll Co-Ed Track Meet, of course, at Carroll Hine, talking with uh, Cassidy and Lexi Branding from the IKM Man and Girls Track Team. We'll start off with uh, Cass, who's over here on my left. Just two events for you tonight. Just wrapped up the Open 800. I think a third place finish there. How did you feel there? Uh, well, compared to, like, these first couple meets coming back tonight, in general, it's felt pretty good, actually. Like, I felt like I'm finally getting, I mean, times I still need to improve on, but, like, I'm not as out of breath or I feel like I'm getting back in the room. So are you 100% yet? I, for the Minus most part, conditioning? Yeah. I mean, oh, my knee will hurt every once in a while, but for the most part, it's pretty much gone. Okay. It's more a mental thing, too. I have to tell myself it doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what was the strategy for you tonight in the 800? Um... Well, the we first couple times coming back into this, I the rushed the first 400 really fast. The start of the race. So tonight was more just about to to the start line and the spacing line. them out, so not the wasting all my energy in the first one and for the putting more in the second one. You kind of ran alone line, for quite down. a bit of that. Is that comfortable for you, or would you rather have somebody kind of there or maybe pushing you a little bit? Definitely helps have someone pushing me, like with Cheyenne being quite a bit of or ahead. I didn't really have anyone to push me, so I was kind of in that little middle part, but yeah, it definitely helps have someone pushing me. Well, I tell you what, in the 4x8, you looked like you were a push. You ran a great race there tonight. You, you had a girl that was out in front of you, and you ended up getting her. I uh, knew you were going to right off of the, the, the handoff of the baton. It looked like that was kind of the goal. Did you see her in front, and is that was what you were thinking the whole time? Yeah, I I knew MV, MV, uh, MVAO was a pretty good 4x8 team, but I'm really, really pumped with our stack 4x8 team because I just really, really want to go to state this year, so I think it's more adrenaline that got me through that. Uh, talk about coming down the straightaway. She had you by just a little bit there, but you were gaining on her. Uh, take us through that portion of the race. At that point, I was like, whoa, I actually, because I mean, coming when I first started out tonight, I was more scared than anything and was like, okay, I probably won't be able to do this, but then I had to put it in my head. And then once I got to her, I was like, whoa, I can do this. So I finally just gave it all I had. <laughs> Did you know once you handed off the baton and had a good handoff with Peyton that things were over? I think, yeah, because I knew Peyton, I mean, all four of us won it really bad and I knew catching up to her that close, I knew Peyton would, I knew Peyton would catch up to her. Well, I tell you what, good to see you out running again rather than walking around. So, appreciate you joining us here tonight. You bet. Let's talk now to uh, Lexi, who was the second place finisher tonight in the uh, shot put. Uh, take us through your throws up there tonight. How'd you feel? Well, it was okay. I had my best throw at Denison last week with 33. So, it was. It was, it was okay. What were, you, what were your throws tonight? How close did you get to getting that 33? It was 32 and a half tonight. So I felt like I could have done better. In warm-ups, I threw farther than I actually did in the... I mean, actually throwing, so... What do you think changed for you between warm-ups and, and the throws that counted? Maybe just, like, keep on throwing. The, just... Maybe I shouldn't take too many throws in the beginning warm-ups so that I can save some of that for ending. Should you feel like you were a little tired when it came time to throw throw? Kind of, but okay. I think it's more just strategy doing looking back, you know, okay. doing pulling and that stuff. Take us through, what was what were your three throws? Do you remember your distances? <laughs> it was 32 my first one and then 31 and then a 30 and a 31 something so okay. it was so my first one was definitely my best so, and you can kind of see how like as you keep throwing it, it kind of wears your arm out so technique okay though everything in the middle nothing close to being a scratch or anything no nothing close okay. to being scratched, okay so. You also ran the 4 by 2 tonight. Talk yep. about that. How'd that go? What leg were you? I was second leg. Um, Jody Opperman handed off to me. And I, it was okay. Just I've never ran a 200 before this this meet. So it was, it was I, don't, I didn't know how to run it, but it's a sprint. So you just have to sprint the whole thing and see you feel, how it goes. Did you feel comfortable being able to do that? Yeah, it was, I felt it was a lot better than what I expected it to be. So. Okay. What running event do you like running in then? I like the 4 by one the best. The 4x1 the best. <laughs> yep. How I'll much different is running the, the one compared to the two for you? Well, it's, 
I mean, you definitely are a lot more gas at the end of the 200 than 100. So. All right. Well, a good learning experience for you, though, it sounds like tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, perfect. Girls, appreciate your time tonight. Thanks for joining me.